Hello and welcome to another great episode of The Jet Set. Galen is out in Las Vegas at the Consumer Electronics Show and we'll be checking in with him shortly. But first, what movies, books, and apps should you take with you when you travel? I've got the answer on this month's IFE update. And of course, I've got this week's travel news story. So buckle up, another episode of The Jet Set is about to take off. Meeting a new friend always makes my trip complete. Keeping up with the news about a destination helps me make the most of my trip. Experiencing different cultures, exploring new places, and connecting with diverse people make me a better person. It's time to talk travel news on another edition of Here's This. Trump's restrictions on travel to the U.S. from six mostly Muslim countries, in addition to Venezuela and North Korea, were largely struck down by a federal appeals court raising uncertainty as the fight now heads to the Supreme Court. A regional appeals court in San Francisco concluded last month that it continues to illegally discriminate against travelers, just as the earlier executive orders did. The three-judge panel also ruled that Trump can continue to bar or limit entry of people from the Mideast and North African nations if they do not have a relationship with the U.S.-based person or institution. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's just a bird on a plane. Recently, Delta Airlines flight 1943 from Detroit to Atlanta had to turn around and land back in Detroit after pilots discovered a bird in the flight deck. The airline says in a statement that shortly after takeoff, the decision was made to return to Detroit to, quote, avoid the potential distraction during the flight. The former owner of an Indiana hotel is being sued for charging a woman hundreds of dollars for posting a negative review online that said there was hair and dirt on the sheets in her room, along with other cleanliness issues. Indiana's attorney general office contends the hotel owner violated the state's Deceptive Consumer Sales Act by having a policy of charging guests $350 if they posted negative reviews online, but did not inform management about the problems during their stay at the Abbey Inn and Suites. The suit seeks a reimbursement for the guests and a court order barring the hotel from maintaining and enforcing such a policy, which it calls, quote, unfair, abusive, and deceptive. Now, this got us thinking, how often do you post negative reviews when you receive bad service? We wanted to know, so we sent our producer Brad out to find out, and here's what you had to say. Do you ever post negative reviews online after you've had a bad experience? Uh, no, not really. I, I'm not a big Yelp user or anything like that, no. I have not, no. Uh, how often do you post negative reviews when you've had bad service? Never. Never. Yeah. I actually never have either. Yeah. No. Do you ever, have you ever posted a positive review? No. Um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to say, I agree with them. I very rarely post negative reviews online. Do uh -huh. you? You know what? If I really have a bad experience, I ask to talk to the manager. I just feel like so you take that, care of it day of moment. I up. get it done because I feel <laughs> like if you put it out into the interwebs, that you're just asking for I don't know other comments. I, I like to go right to the source. So complain. then here's another question: Do you ever post positive reviews when something good happens? Sometimes I do, but then I also sometimes just go to the manager and say, "This employee, for example, was amazing. You really have a great person See, on your team." I'm big on tweeting. I'll send out a tweet if something goes wrong. You sometimes, do, yeah, you are good at that. And then I'm always send out the tweet if something goes right, but especially you get when I'm a, on an airplane. But you always get a lot of attention with all of your tweeting Twitter, things. Twi that, the yeah, people respond to Twitter. <laughs> so something that I also thought was really interesting was, can you imagine staying at a hotel that actually has this policy that if you post a negative review, they're going to charge you $350? Oh, that's just ridiculous. Like, do you, no one sits there and actually reads through all the terms and conditions of everything. Yeah, but so, that's just wrong. Can you, know, you imagine ever, especially Galen, I mean, he would be fined all the time. <laughs> 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 That's not, yeah, maybe. But like, I don't know, to be able to, to then say like, oh, well, it was the policy that, that you agreed to when you booked the room, and then two weeks later, you get a charge for this random 350. Oh, that's a tough one. I know, it's Ooh, really crazy. I don't like it. We'll be right back in 30 seconds with more. And I don't know, that's tough. It just seems illegal. It does, it seems wrong. Over 70 years of experience in heart and aviation, the members of the Association of Flight Attendants know the realities of the aircraft cabin better than anyone. We don't just serve drinks, we save lives. We don't just negotiate contracts, we move major policy issues like the smoking ban, no knives on planes, clean water and safe food on board. The air we breathe matters and we stop the spraying of poisonous pesticides. The Association of Flight Attendants, stronger together, better together. 
What movies, apps, and books should you download for your next trip? I've got the answer on this week's edition of IFE Update. Read this, Rubber Suits and Lukewarm Suit. A desire to become a professional pilot against the odds and without the benefit of wealthy relatives leads to a journey through some unusual jobs. When the opportunity to join an airline is abruptly halted by bureaucracy, a determination to continue flying results in an accidental career as one of the busiest oceanic ferry pilots in the world. Fly along on nine very different delivery flights and experience the literal highs and lows of these dangerously exciting journeys across our oceans. Download this Trivago mobile app. The Trivago app instantly compares over 1.8 million hotels worldwide from over 180 plus booking sites. All you have to do is search by city, address, or point of interest to find your ideal hotel for the best price. Watch this, Overdrive. Legendary car thieves Andrew and Garrett are caught in the act of stealing from notorious crime boss Giacomo Morier. In order to win back their freedom, they're put to the ultimate test, the theft of a priceless car from Morier's sworn enemy. That's us. Got this? You might need more of a running start. Oh, you're gonna tell me how to do my job? I'm now. just saying one more step might make all the difference. Just drive. <laughs> This was your car. Maybe there's something we can do for you. A 1962 Ferrari GTO. Max Clem's most prized possession. We're gonna steal it. That is impossible. What do you say? You have one week. So, what's your plan? I need one, but we're gonna need a crew. I got a friend here in Marseille. Having a little trouble with the police? No trouble. She's in. To win your own copy of Overdrive, like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash thejetsettv and comment using the hashtag IFE update. I'm going to enter to win. No, I am. we got to take a quick break, but we'll be right back with more of the Jet Set in just a minute. We'll fight it out. We play DVDs. <laughs> it's mine. Oh, it's mine. Welcome back to The Jet Set. It's time to talk about what stories are trending in travel. We're getting started today with a diet expert that has some food for thought for flyers out there. The best and worst airline food. The 2017 annual airline food investigation by Dr. Platkin shows these results. All now, right, what do we got? Okay, now the best meal out there, the best food out there is on Virgin America. The mm. average meal is 340 calories. Not snack, but a whole meal. That's a meal. That's, that's great. I mean, you being our resident health and wellness yes. expert, that's good. We're that's okay very with that. good, yes. All meals on the Airplanes show the calorie counts, but they but they're warning you to stay away from all the pre-packaged snacks. Mm -hmm. That's where they really like hit you with like the extra sugar. Okay, so Delta was second. Their average meal is 480 calories, but they're saying eat the almonds. Okay. Next is Air Canada, and then JetBlue. Now, um, now when it comes to JetBlue, Dr. Platkin says that they have low-calorie snacks, which are good, mm -hmm. but that they lack nutritional value. Yeah, it's just kind of like air. So does that make you want to just eat more? No, that makes me want to say, why do you not listen to me and bring your own snacks? Like so I always. Yeah. Okay, now the worst is Hawaiian Airlines. Their average meal was 568 calories, and they offer nothing in terms of nutrition. Now, this is my favorite part, okay? He also said that his researchers had to estimate what was actually in the food because Hawaiian was not forthcoming with the information. So what are you eating? Yeah, well, come on, Hawaiian Airlines. What are you doing? Oh, that sounds kind but like of I said, their planes are so pretty. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is a big year for your favorite Amazon. That's right. I'm turning hot 40 this year. 40? <laughs> I'm 40. <laughs> and I wanted to do something fun. And I was looking around at houses to rent, and I came up with the idea to get a castle and host a celebration with my friends. So, I mean, why do ordinary when you can do exceptional? Look for villas, chateaus, and even castles to rent all over Europe or the Caribbean. Uh, I think about Morocco. They also have properties starting at only 39 euros a person per night, so there's something for every budget. You bad. can find things like babysitters, wine tours, rental cars, dinner reservations, kind of all in one same place. So you can, it's like a one-stop shop. So I'm thinking about doing that for my birthday. I think you're, I think it's fitting that you might possibly rent a palace. Well, in my mind, I'm a princess. <laughs> <laughs> Where though? 
I'm thinking south of France. All right. I'll yeah. go with you. I'm in. All right, let's, let's go. Do it. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm here at CES Las Vegas. All kinds of great products. I'm here on the Flexport rooftop deck. But first, from personal video devices to perceptive alarm clocks and smart homes, David Gregg, BehindTheBuy.com senior editor, is our go-to guy for the skinny on the greatest show-stopping products at CES 2018. So David, what's got you so mesmerized there? Ah, the moon from Royal. This personal mobile device combines dual 1080p high-def displays with noise-canceling headphones to reduce noise by 92% to envelop your senses in a maxed-out cinematic and immersive gaming experience. The Moon's built-in hub provides access to scores of great 2D and 3D movies. That's in addition to wireless access of the content on your smartphone, computer, tablet, gaming system, streaming movie services, and even Moon's own internal storage. The foldable design ensures comfort during extended use and portability. Also, so, Royal just announced a partnership with Sony Pictures Home Entertainment to view three free movies from more than 100 titles with the purchase of a moon, making the moon truly out of this world. Samsung just introduced the Notebook 9 Pen and the Notebook 9. This ultra-slim, durable, and convertible 2-in-1 Samsung Notebook 9 Pen weighs in at just under 2.2 pounds. Its 360-degree hinge design easily converts from laptop to tablet and back. Samsung designed it for consumers expecting a one-two punch of power and the creative computing capabilities of the S Pen, the same S Pen featured in Samsung's Galaxy Note series. The built-in S Pen is battery-free and features tilt detection and a 5.7 millimeter tip capable of recognizing over 4,000 levels of pressure to allow a more natural writing and drawing experience, as well as S Pen shortcuts to Samsung Notes and Autodesk Sketchbook. For those that love to get their game on, Netgear introduced a new category of products designed by gamers for gamers. It's Netgear's Nighthawk Pro Gaming XR500 Wi-Fi Router. It'll make online gamers rejoice regardless of their skill because they'll finally be able to achieve low lag gameplay along with a competitive advantage of reliable and responsive Wi-Fi functionality. This first of its kind gaming router utilizes a dashboard to provide geo-filtering, quality of service, and network monitoring to personalize your entire gaming environment. Nighthawk's cutting-edge software makes it all happen by stabilizing ping, reducing lag spikes, and always keeping you connected for the ultimate reliable and most intense online gameplay, and providing its users the power to win iHome's clock radio with smart button now makes it possible to wirelessly set your alarm while adding excitement and color to your streaming music. Charge your tech tools and control your home's connected devices from many popular brands. And stream music with the touch of a button or your voice using Siri or Google Assistant. It's controlled with the free iHome Enhance app. The LED cabinet features seven color modes that can even pulse to music and an alarm display built-in mic voice echo cancellation and answer and controls to make speakerphone use a breeze. It even includes an FM radio with six presets. This is definitely not your grandmother's clock radio. And that's all. It's a wrap from CES 2018. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, David. Galen, it looks like there is a lot of great finds there at CES. Yes, Nikki, this show is massive and packed with the latest in technology. And coming up, I'm going to meet with our friend Jennifer Jolly with more great finds from this year's show. Well, Galen, I can't wait to see what you have for us. But unfortunately, we have to take a quick break. But we'll be back with more of Galen's trip to CES in Las Vegas in just a moment. I'm so jealous he got to go. I know. He was going to do like the a fun lot of things. fun out there.
This is important news for women who were administered chemotherapy intravenously for breast cancer and then suffered permanent hair loss. Some women administered the breast cancer chemotherapy drug Taxotair have suffered from permanent hair loss on scalp, eyebrows, and eyelashes. If you suffered permanent hair loss after chemotherapy for breast cancer, call the law offices of Davis and Crump right now to find out if you are eligible for a cash award and medical expenses. Call now. Operators are standing by. Heartburn medication. We usually consider this common drug a risk-free solution for helping acid reflux sufferers. However, in a study published in February 2016, researchers found that proton pump inhibitors, or PPIs, are not without risk. And in fact, this study linked PPIs to an increased risk of kidney failure and other complications. If you or a loved one has taken Nexium, Prilosec, Prevacid, or these other common heartburn drugs and have been diagnosed with kidney failure, acute interstitial nephritis, dialysis, or kidney biopsy, give us a call now. If any of these injuries were diagnosed after using a PPI, you may be eligible for financial compensation from the manufacturer. The call is free, and there is absolutely no obligation. Call the Rely On Group now at 800-713-2048. That's 800-713-2048. Call now. Listen to this important message. If you owe money to the IRS, you will want to hear this. Penalties and interest compound daily on your back taxes, putting you under a mountain of debt. Tax 10,000 has years of experience connecting people with tax resolution specialists. Working through the IRS Fresh Start program, they will handle all the necessary forms, and if you qualify, you may end up saving thousands of dollars. Call Tax 10,000 at 800-860-1694. Welcome back, guys. I'm here at CES Las Vegas looking at all these fabulous things they have here. We're going to check in now with Jennifer Jolly. She's the Tech Life columnist. Jennifer, what do you have for us? Well, what's hot this year? AI and voice control in everything. TV's hot here now with voice control, Hisense H6, 4K, UHD, with Amazon Alexa built in. That means you can just use your voice to turn the TV on, change the channel, but you can also use it to control every other smart product in your house. Think of it like a giant remote control for your new robotic smart home. LG showed us how all that will work with ThinQ, their own artificial intelligence platform. It will soon connect everything like a Jetson home of the future. One example, Cord Zero R9, a cordless robot vacuum with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant built in. You just order it around, follow it. Hey, follow me around, little robot, clean up all my messes. I Homes ISP 100 outdoor smart plug turns any device into a smart device. Great example. You just got through the holidays. Most of us had to trudge outside in the rain or snow to turn our lights on or off. Never again. Now you just use your voice. This one's out now less than $40. Another great example of voice assistance in everything. These new Jabra earbuds. The Elite 65T have up to 15 hours of battery life. There's also an active version for sports and running. Completely wireless, no tangled cords. Works across the board with virtual assistants. Really amazing new technology. Now, more amazing technology, a little drone. The AEE Self Fly, a drone smartphone case in one to capture photos and videos. You can take your selfies to new heights. AEE just also launched this Mocha Cam. May just very well be the world's smallest 4K action camera. Shoots 4K video. For more information, also stills with that, go to dailylounge.com. I am here all week. As fun as winter can be, the snow and ice can make it a challenge to get around quickly. So what does Red Bull athlete Philippe Flissard do when he's stuck on the slopes and late for lunch? Jetpack home, of course. Ski cross world champion Flissard ripped through the streets of his hometown Maribor in Slovenia, taking on everything from tarmac and steps to the nearby stadium. Running at up to 96,000 RPMs and producing a jet blast that reaches temperatures of up to 850 degrees Celsius, Flizar's James Bond-style contraption packs 40 kilograms of thrust and can propel him to speeds north of 120 kilometers per hour. Even though it was a race against the clock, speed wasn't the name of the game. The biggest challenge of all was the ever-changing terrain under my skis, he says. One second I was riding on a nicely groomed snow, the next thing I knew I was blasting across pure ice on a frozen lake switching it for frozen soil and asphalt in a matter of seconds. 
Being a true local, Fizar took a couple of shortcuts and probably exceeded some of the city speed limits, but he did get home without getting into trouble. No medals were awarded after this epic race against the clock, but needless to say that mom was very proud and the roast never tasted better. Hey everybody, we're here at the Consumer Electronics Show, all this cool stuff, and we are with Tech Life columnist, That's Jennifer right. Jolly, Good. she's back. <laughs> so Jennifer, tell us about the tech trends that you're spotting this year. Oh my gosh, the equivalent of 50 football fields filled with tech, everything from cuddly robots, we'll get to him in a minute, to gorgeous gadgets continuing to emerge here at CES 2018. Let's jump right in. Lenovo's new Mirage Solo VR headset, the first high-end wireless virtual reality headset completely contained within the device. No cords or wires to tangle or trip on. Paired with Google's Daydream, this is what we've been waiting for in this world of VR. Yeah. Lenovo also unveiling this little teeny tiny Mirage Solo camera capturing HD video. Amazing. Samsung addressing huge yes. concerns in home security with SmartThings ADT home security starter kit. It combines the largest ecosystem of smart home devices with more than 140 years of professional monitoring. Easy to install, customize, set up. You don't need an advanced engineering degree to get this thing up and running. I love that. Now, peeking behind the, the magic curtain here of how these things come to be, that's what we did at the Dolby booth yesterday. So we saw how Dolby Vision is doing for the eyes what they've always done for the ears with superior high dynamic range imaging tech that's now in everything. You will see the Dolby name everywhere here, every TV, every smart screen. It's what adds that brightness, makes details so crisp and clear. It gives you the power to really hear, see, and feel something spectacular. Okay, let's dive right into sleep. health tech. I know, we all need more sleep, right? Well, Sleep Number promised the best sleep of your life with their 360 smart bed unveiled here last year. Now they want to deliver the best sleep for your life. Sleep Number showing a glimpse of the future with biometric tracking. Check this out, Sleep IQ Tech. This will detect conditions like sleep apnea, insomnia, even recognizing a regular heartbeat pattern that could lead to a heart attack. Amazing, yeah, right? Yeah. Also truly groundbreaking, United Healthcare unveiling a fancy new program for continuous glucose monitoring. That's with a gadget from a company called Dexcom. It's launching in a pilot program this year to track blood glucose levels 24 seven so people can make adjustments in real time. They also rolled out a new mobile wallet, lets people with health savings accounts use their iPhone to make medical expense payments. Oh my gosh, we have to get to Pepper. SoftBank Robotics, one of the most lifelike robots I've ever seen. New chatbot integration lets her have more natural conversations. So much to so show much you. To see. Thank so you excited. for showing us yeah. this. I want to see more. Oh, you, oh, you will. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Travel inspiration is coming your way on the go, powered by Trivago.com right after a quick break. Don't move a muscle. Where Don't move a muscle. Where are you taking us? Someplace fun. Fun? Yeah. Like <laughs> it's that time again to talk travel inspiration on the go, powered by Travago.com, where this week we're sending you to Lexington, Kentucky. Go stay at 21C Museum Hotel Lexington. This boutique hotel doubles as a contemporary art museum where you can enjoy curated exhibitions during your stay, earning it top marks from Travago.com users. Go visit Keeneland. This famous and historic horse racing arena has an extensive history. Horses began racing in 1936, and annual races have become a traditional event. Go eat at Pie and Pints. Dedicated to producing high-quality pizzas utilizing locally grown and fresh ingredients, a hand-selected variation of craft beer is available, specifically chosen, chosen as accompaniments for the pies. Looking for more travel inspiration? Go check out room5.travago.com for more. Galen's back next week. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. I want pies.